Hello, it's Mark Steffen from MicrosoftAccessExpert.com and WinningSolutionsInc.com and uh, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, Windows tablets, tablets in general, uh, being used with Microsoft Access. Um, if you saw some of my previous videos from the Microsoft Partner Conference, uh, you would have noticed that I previously uh, had a Windows RT tablet and now I've got a little bit different tablet that I'm going to be talking to you about today. But first, I want to kind of cover a little bit of the history of, uh, and it's a brief history, of using tablets with Microsoft Access. So since uh, just recently, Microsoft has introduced their tablets within the last year. And of course, other tablets from Apple have been around uh, longer than that, and uh, as well as from the Android world. And so the way people have worked with Microsoft Access using uh, these tablets is uh, using what is currently referred to as Microsoft Remote Desktop Services. Um, or uh, what used to be called terminal services. So basically making a uh, terminal out of the tablet uh, so that you were talking to a Windows server and that way you could uh, then uh, run the application on the Windows server, the Access Database, um, and uh, see the, view the data and input data uh, through a, a non-Microsoft device. Well, things have really changed here in the last few months uh, with the introduction of some new tablets. Uh, so, as I mentioned before, my previous tablet was a Windows RT device from Microsoft, and my latest tablet uh, is the uh, Asus Vivo Tab. And uh, you'll notice that it um, came from the Microsoft Store, so it's marked as a Microsoft Signature PC. And uh, what that means is that there's no uh, extra software on there that you don't need. There's just the great Microsoft applications and then it's ready for you to load up the things that you want to do. And so if you've seen the recent commercials from Microsoft, they've talked about how it's both a work device as well as an entertainment device. And this, this tablet meets those criteria. The big change from my RT tablet, my RT tablet uh, would not run the same programs that you would run on your Windows desktop PC. So that meant I couldn't run Office on it. Now, um, this, this tablet um, also comes with Office. It's a home and student edition. So it's uh, basically just Word and Excel uh, and OneNote. Uh, so uh, if you need to install Access on this, um, you'll need uh, to have an Access license, which you can uh, get through uh, Office 365 or several other ways. I also have an Office 365 account. So I installed Microsoft Access using one of my installs that I'm allowed to do uh, for having uh, purchased Office through Office 365. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Office 365, I would suggest just going to office365.com where you can learn all about it, but it's basically an email service and a way to get Office licensing on a monthly subscription basis. So, uh, once you have Access loaded on this, you can do everything you would do with a PC. But you might not necessarily want to use such a small device um, as a PC. Uh, you might just want to use it as uh, something to do data input out in the field. And so if you want to do data input out in the field, it's a great device because it's light. Uh, this is about a 10 inch size uh, screen and uh, it's very thin um, and it has great battery life. So this is what is the big change from, from the RT is that uh, this actually runs the full version of Windows just like your PC does. And so here we have it actually running, running Office. But then you have the new uh, Windows 8 interface, which you may have seen. So this kind of gives you access to the entertainment side. So if you want to read a book or watch a podcast or do things like that, you can do those things on, that, on this side, but you can click this desktop and go right back and be in the business side to do Office. So we'll get into more detail about how to take advantage of this and how to um, optimize your access applications to work on a screen of this size and things like that. Uh, but we're really excited today. Uh, we're starting to do uh, some of our first customer deployments using this technology where it's a native access running on a tablet, uh, not through Windows terminal services. So if you think that's something that would be beneficial to your organization um, and you would like some help doing that, um, you can contact us through our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com or winningsolutionsinc.com and we can help you either uh, make your existing access application work in this new form factor or we can help you create a new access database from scratch that will take advantage of this new mobile technology which is really being seen as the, as the future of the industry right now. So thanks very much for watching. Please check out our other videos and have a great day.